I can count nine ice rings in Spain. So it's really hard to get involved in the skating when you don't have ice rings. It's exciting to see Javi starting to rise to some recognition in Spain. And he takes it seriously and it's his responsibility. He knows that it's his responsibility to try to get figure skating on the map. Javier Fernandez took up figure skating because his older sister was involved in the sport. It wasn't easy. We are a, a soccer country. That's their thing. If you're a boy, you play football, soccer. Well, there is so many people that always uh, say so many stuff about you're doing figure skating and figure skating is a sport for girls. In 2010, Fernandez became the first Spanish men's skater to qualify for the Olympics since 1976. He finished 14th, but he wasn't satisfied. And so I decided to change coaches. I had a little meeting with, with my federation. We actually talked about different coaches around the world. And we knew Brian from uh, other competitions. Yeah? Start doing from beginning to end, just so you get a feel from, and then we'll start adding stuff. One of the coolest things when he first came and we got the programs and he really embraced the choreography and he was not as disciplined then as he is now, but it was kind of like one of those things where I said, just trust us. Wonderful choreography. Trusting Brian and his team in Toronto quickly led to a Grand Prix medal in 2011. It was the first ever for Spain, appropriately won in Javier's newly adopted country, a silver at Skate Canada. And that might have been the skate of his life. When I skated the first time with Brian here in, in Canada, I skated that well in his own country, and it was a great moment for me to be able to show everyone what I was doing with Brian. At that moment, he really kind of bought into it. I said, OK, these people know what they're doing. This is just getting a little lost out here somewhere. It just has to stay behind you. But the relationship between Brian and Javier is about more than results. There are similarities that bond them together. Well, he used to be a skater. He used to be like me, kind of. Like our skating style is very similar to what I, how I used to skate. To hear that, that your coach really knows how you are and knows how to work with you, is something that I really like from him. And personalities quite similar. Well, we like to have fun right before we start to work. <laughs> I think to share like a little things from your life with your coach and talk a little bit, it just makes the relationship much better. Obviously, Fernandez is not Orser's only student. There are other promising skaters training at the cricket club in Toronto, including Canadian Nam Nguyen. So when Brian was asked to coach one of Javier's main rivals, Japan's Yuzuru Hanyu, Orser felt the need to discuss it with Fernandez first. Of course, I told him it was a great idea because he has an amazing talent. He's a big worker. To have him train is something positive for everybody. Training together under Orser, Yuzuru won Olympic gold in Sochi while Javier finished just off the podium. Fernandez won back-to-back -back European titles in 2013 and 14. Victories he hopes will inspire his home country. He told me, he said, you know, Spain needs something like this. It's true that we had a really tough time in Spain with all the economy. To be able to bring those medals or to get new titles and bring it to your own country when you know what is going on there, I think it's something really important for all the Spanish people.